somehow a very big confusion because you you move between culture and culture in maybe sometime in one hour. In the beginning when I was young, it was very hard for me. I was practicing, practicing my breathe, how to breathe in, in Tel Aviv and, and come back to the village, I breathe easily. When I come to, back, uh, come to Tel Aviv, I start breathing in some other way because everything is not mine. It's very different from me, from, me, from my feeling, from my mind, from my behavior, from my culture. The, the most uh, hurting you as a, a human being when somebody ignore your existence. All these questions that you ask yourself when you are very young about your identity, who I am, where I am, what I want, what my dreams, what I want to do, what I want to, to create, all these questions at that period before establishing your identity is to be or not to be. And when you come to the point that you are there, it's uh, easier, much more easier. You can face, and when you can face, when you the other culture. When I knew the Hebrew, I studied it. And when I knew the people, the human being, and I felt that they are the same like me, they are not soldiers or policemen or uh, secret police or government, they are human being, then I succeeded to cross the borders and uh, to lose my fear. I'm not afraid anymore. And I believe that uh, uh, when you know the other language, when you know the other uh, culture, you fall in love with the other. I mean, I mean, it's breaking the borders between you and him. And uh, I, I think it's the best way to make peace. When you put yourself like that, you are open to every culture. Nobody in this world have a, a monopoly, uh, monopole on, uh, on pain or on tragedy or on love or on uh, suffering. Because we people all over the world suffering and loving and, and living and dying the same way. This is a good end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>